Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I want to make this intro super short. This is my everyday makeup look for winter 2016 and the products that I'm using are a mix between drugstore products and tire end products so it'll be super easy and inexpensive to recreate and yeah so that's pretty much it and let's jump into it. So skipping foundation and heading straight to concealer, I'm using Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. And I'm just putting that underneath my eyes in kind of like an outside triangle shape. And then I'm going to be putting it on my chin, down my nose, and up my forehead a little bit. And then I'm also going to be doing it above my jawline. So I use my concealer more as a highlighter. And once I have that all in place, I'm just using my fingers to blend that in evenly. Now I'm using my NARS Laguna Bronzer, which I hit pan and need a new one of, but I'm using my Lancome Sculpting Brush and I'm just putting that in the hollows of my cheekbones, on the temples of my forehead, and swiping it across my forehead where the sun would naturally hit it, and I'm also bringing it down on my jaw. Now I'm just using a clean brush just to even that bronzer out. Now I'm using my NARS blush and orgasm, which have seen better days, but I'm just using that to bring some color to my face. Now just to add a little bit of shimmer and highlight my cheekbones, I'm using Carly Bibles highlighter. It's the first one on the left, I forgot to insert here, but I'm just putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and up around my eye a little bit. Now I'm using my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palette, the Blush Nudes by Maybelline. And I'm using this color here, and I'm just dabbing that all over my eyelid. Now using this bronzy color in the palette, I'm just taking that color and putting it in my crease and just defining my crease a little bit, just so it stands out amongst my other features. Now using a clean blending brush, I'm just blending that in so it is a seamless transition between the colors. Now I'm just going to darken things up a little bit with this beautiful cranberry color in the palette. And I'm just putting that on the outer corner of my lids and blending throughout the lid. Now I'm just using this light pink shade in the palette and just patting that in the center of my eyelid to make my eye look a little bit bigger. Now I'm using the lightest color in the palette and putting that in the inner corners of my eyes to make my eyes look bigger and more awake. Taking that bronzy color again, I'm taking this below the eye and putting it in the inner part of my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking that cranberry color again and doing the same, but this time I'm putting on the outer half of my eye. Now on to eyeliner. I'm using my favorite Stilla. It is a felt tip pen and it is amazing. It's so easy to use. But eyeliner is already hard and doing it on camera, I'm telling you, is the most difficult thing in the world. So I tried my best here, but I had to edit some clips out. But I'm doing a cat-eyed liner and I'm just making sure it is even on both sides. Plump, plump the jam, plump it up. Now using my new CoverGirl Plumpify Mascara, I'm putting that on my upper lashes and making them plumpified. Now I'm just using that same mascara to define my lower lashes. Now every day I switch up my lipstick slash lip gloss depending on what I'm wearing or how I'm feeling, but I guess today I was feeling Anastasia's lip gloss in the color Dainty. And there you have it, that is my completed everyday makeup look at the moment. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you recreate this look, I would love to see it. So please tweet it to me. My Twitter is at Carson underscore Perry. And I will leave it linked down in the bottom bar as well. And yeah, so that is it for my everyday makeup routine. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. But let's just open it and I will show you exactly what I need. So first off, this is the box. It's so cute. It's actually smaller than I thought it looked on screen. But this is my face and this is the box, so you can kind of tell. 